Good morning, class. We are looking at uh, section 3.10, approximation and differentials. Okay. Again, we have uh, covered a lot of differentiation formulas that you got to be comfortable with. Okay. And I hope you are. Uh, you want to go over and make sure there is uh, no problem then and there. Uh, related rates uh, were discussed. In short, dy dt is dy d, uh, du du dt. It's you relate the two quantities using uh, geometry, trigonometry, you name it. And then you differentiate using the chain rule. Um, I'm reminding you of the logarithmic uh, properties you should know. One of the things I mentioned last time was for you to uh, try the common log I had given you others. I, th I thought, you know, it's a good idea that put it up for you. This is the properties, okay, that uh, you see for common logs. I hope you have practiced with that. This is the general case. This is for natural log, and this is for the common log. You really have to be comfortable. All right. The idea of a differential, by definition, if y equals f of x class, then differential for x is dx, which is identical to delta x. So this delta x or run is equal to dx. dy called the differential for y, and it's f prime of x times dx for a continuous function. And when uh, delta x is pretty small, we replace the delta y with dy. So let's discuss those and see what's going on, OK? Um, delta x is the same as dx, everybody. Delta x is the same as dx. Now, if you look at point P and Q and you connect them, everybody remembers this is the secant line PQ. Now, when we say delta y, delta y is rise or the change in y when it comes to the function f of x or its secant line as we go from p to q. So delta y represents the change in y along the curve y equals f of x. Okay. And so delta y is equal to the distance PB. Everybody, delta Y is the distance PB. The rise, okay, along the curve as we go from one point to the next, from P to Q, okay? Now, dy, however, is this distance AB. And as you can see, AB and PB are not the same. So delta X is identical to DX, but delta Y is not identical to DY. However, okay, as delta X gets smaller and smaller, the, the value of delta Y and DY get closer and closer. And of course, this has been blown up for the sake of illustration. Delta X is extremely small. And that makes it a good approximation. So f prime of x is dy dx. dy is simply f prime of x times dx. Delta y is f of x plus delta x minus f of x by precise definition, as you can see from the graph. And f prime of x, which is dy dx precisely, can be approximated by delta y delta x over delta x. And therefore, delta y can be approximated by that. So it gives rise to the following equations. OK. Now, if you look at the first equation, you can see it from the graph, which becomes the second equation as we move things around. Numbers 1 and 2 are practically identical. We are just moving things around. And then number 2 can be approximated 
by number three. And that's really the idea behind this f of x plus delta x being approximated by f of x plus dy, okay? And now the next thing that I want to discuss is the linearization. So class, first and foremost, linearization means find the tangent, right? So there is nothing there. Linearization means find the tangent, right? So here's the tangent line. Everybody remembers the point slope, right? Everybody remembers I can move the y1 to the other side. So, so far, elementary algebra, elementary algebra. Okay. Now let's do calculus. We replace the m with f prime at some point, for example, a. Therefore, x sub 1 is replaced by a, and y sub 1 is replaced by what? f of a. So one more time. At some point, x equals a. So m is f prime of a. x sub 1 is a. y sub 1 is f of a. Now this y, this is the equation of a tangent line. They simply call it L of x or linearization. It's the same thing class. I hope everybody's comfortable with the concept. Here's a simple example to get us started. As you can see in the top right, we have the formulas we just discussed. So we wanna find the dy and delta y. And then we wanna plug in. So for now, dy. The moment you hear dy, you can ignore it for a second and say, you know what, I'm going to differentiate this. So everybody, what is f prime of x? Can anybody tell me what's f prime of x? What is f prime of x? Anybody? 12x squared minus 3. Thank you. Thank you. dy dx is 12x squared minus 3. That's all. So, so far, not a big deal. So, how do you change it to dy? All you have to do, take a look, class. Write the same thing and tag along dx. So, first differentiate, then put a dx next to it. Don't forget the parentheses. Now, we want to evaluate it. Okay, what is x? Replace it with 3. What is delta x or dx? Replace it with 0.2. So the next part is basic math. Plug in, order of operations, evaluate. I'm assuming everybody can do that. Of course, quickly, this is 9. This is 108. Minus 3 becomes 105. Big deal, OK? So nobody has any problem with that. What is delta y, okay? Delta y is f of x plus delta x minus f of x. Look at the very first equation. So what is x? Number three. What is delta x? Number 0.2. So add them up. We want f of 3.2 minus f of three. This is elementary algebra plug-in class. Here's the function. Plug in 3.2, evaluate. Plug in three, evaluate. Their difference is of interest to us. Okay, so I hope it's really not a big deal. You plug in and you evaluate. Now, dy is 21, delta y is 22.472. Now, we are not saying they are the same, we are saying they are close. Now, what I want you to notice is Delta x or dx is 0.2, and compared to the choice of x, is pretty large. In other words, let's say x was 100. Then this would be pretty small compared to x. And you'll see the two are extremely close in that case. So the choice of delta x, in a matter of comparison to x, is fairly large. That's why it's uh, not as close as we want it. Okay, everybody. The radius of a blood vessel is 1.4 millimeters, so radius. The drug causes the radius to change to 1.3 millimeters, so it's changing, it's reducing, it's decreasing. We want to use differentials to find the approximate change. So we want the approximate change in what? The area of a cross section. So first thing first, we need to know the area of a cross-section is a circular shape. Then we want to relate the area to the radius. 
So right away, it's a formula that we have discussed. The area is equal to pi r squared. Then r is 1.4, and we change it to 1.3. So their difference, that means 1.3 minus 1.4 is delta r or dr, okay? And we are interested in finding dA. So take a look at what's given. R is 1.4 millimeters. DR or delta R is negative 0.1. I want to explain this one. I want to make sure you understand what's happening. Why is this negative? Because it goes from the original size to a smaller one. So always the new one minus the old one. That would be your delta or DR. A is power squared. We want to find DA. So to do that, first you find a prime of r or da dr and then you find da as follows first you find a prime of r or da dr then whatever you get okay whatever this is you tag along the dr that's the idea of a differential okay so if a is pi r squared what is a prime of r or da dr is pi times 2r pi times 2r means 2 pi r. So what is dA? Now tag along. Remember, in this case, we tag along dx, f prime of x dx. That's dy. So dA would be 2 pi r times dr. So what is r? Original r of 1.4 millimeters. What is dr? Negative 0.1 millimeters. So when you do the math, you get negative 0 0.28 pi millimeters squared, negative 0 0.28 pi millimeters squared, okay? Uh, the units for dA are the same as the units for A, okay, class? Because it's change, instantaneous rate of change in essence. And uh, if you replace the pi with 3.14159, that's what you get, and that's fine. Can anybody tell me how we can find, instead of an approximate change in the area, the exact change. Can anybody tell me how we find the exact change? Anybody? So let's go do elementary algebra. Let's not do calculus. The radius is changing from 1.4 to 1.3. We want to find the exact change in area. What do we do? Anybody? Well, the area is pi r squared, right? Plug in 1.4, plug in 1.3, calculate both. Their difference is the answer. So what this is class, okay, pi r squared. This is for the new one minus pi times r squared for the old one. And what I have done, I have factored the pi. And here's the answer, precise answer. And I hope you see it's pretty close to the approximation. 